Hi and welcome to this lesson on linear programming. I hope you enjoy it. Now what is linear programming? Well briefly said, it is just a mathematical ma way of finding the optimal solution and what optimal means is just to find the best solution. So very practical is how can I maximize or get the maximum profit or how can I uh, have minimum expenses or how can I optimally spend my time. That just means if I have to distribute my time uh, between some events, which would be the best way of doing so to get the best results. In fact, the guy that invented it, Leonid Kontorovich, I think, he won a Nobel Prize in economics for the work he did in linear programming. Anyways, let's get right into it. Now, linear programming has two main features. The first is the constraints. I'm going to call it restraints. The restraints. Now, when you want to do anything, you are there's certain things that's going to hinder you from doing exactly what you want. So, for example, uh, you might have limited time, limited space, limited finances. These are the type of restraints you're working with. Or, just general, you have to produce at least a certain number of a certain product. Things like that. Just certain things that just doesn't allow you to do what you want. That's the one thing. The other thing is the objective. Objective simply refers to what are you trying to do. Are you trying to maximize income, minimize expenses, etc., etc., etc.? Now, restraints have uh, three steps. Sorry, it has three steps. The first step is to formulate. Now, they are going to give you some restraints, and you have to write formulas from it. Now, those restraints will be mathematical equations or actually inequalities and they can then be drawn so the second step would be to draw them on a graph and then finally after you draw them they will work together to give you what is called the feasible region now the feasible region don't worry if you don't understand yet you'll understand later is just an area on that graph that is allowed and again you'll understand much better later when we actually do it now for the objective once we have the feasible region that is the aim of the restraint is to find the feasible region then I'm going to use it to get my optimal answer so the first thing I'll need to do in my objective is to define my objective in other words am I trying to maximize or minimize. Um, th that's that's the two thing. Okay, am I trying to find the maximum or the minimum of what? Exactly, time, money. It can be various things. That is to define. Next, you'll have to do is formulate. Formulate refers to writing a formula. So now that you know that you want to maximize income or minimize expenses, you're going to write a formula for expenses or um, income, things like that. After that, you will substitute possible solutions and finally to find the best solution and instead of best I'm just going to say optimal find the optimal solution that means the one that maximizes or minimizes okay so basically We have our restraints, objectives, for the restraints we formulate, draw, find the feasible region. But then we go into the objective, we define what are we trying to do, maximize or minimize. Formulate a formula to maximize and minimize. Then substitute in the possible solutions that are given by the subject, the feasible region, and then finally find the solution or the value that is the maximum or minimum.